What up everybody? Zach Attacks Fat here. Today I wanted to make a video in regards to a lot of questions I've been getting stemming from a story post that I made a little while ago right over here. Anyway, I posted it on uh, 420 Brown. <laughs> but I realized that my weed smoking is never really something I talked about on my Instagram, my YouTube, anything. And it was definitely a big part of my life. So I figured when people started asking me questions about weed and weight loss that I'd be the person to answer because I'm both experienced with weed and weight loss and both at the same time. So in order to kind of answer your guys' questions and give you my opinion on the matter, I figure we should start from square one, which is when I started smoking weed. So the first time I tried weed, I was in middle school, which I don't know if, I, I was in grade eight. I know, trust me, I wish I would've started when I was a little bit older, but I digress. I didn't really start smoking every day or smoking heavily or being a regular smoker until I was about 16 years old. Now, if you're familiar with my story, my journey, you know that I started my weight loss journey when I was 19 years old. If you're not familiar with my weight loss and my journey, you should check out my other videos and also check out my Instagram account. I got tons of information detailing my whole weight loss journey on both of those things. So when I first started losing weight, I didn't change my smoking habits whatsoever. I would, I would even get high before I went to the gym. Like I'd wake up, smoke weed, get in the shower, go to the gym. So it was never really something that would affect my motivation with my weight loss at all. One thing that it did kind of affect a little bit was that obviously it's well documented. When you smoke weed, you get hungry. So I would get hungry, but it was a little bit different because at that point in my weight loss journey, I was so strict with what I was eating that the munchies didn't really get me bad because I would just eat clean foods. You know, I would basically just munch down on vegetables and I would still be clearly within my calorie goals, especially because at that point, it was easier to eat in a deficit because I was bigger. So in about two years of my journey, I had lost 200 pounds, and that's when I started to work real jobs. So for me personally, I do not like to smoke before I go to work. I don't think it's professional. I don't think that I'm putting my best foot forward for my clients for the people I'm working for, the people I'm working with. It's, it's never aligned with my values. So that's when I kind of started slowing down and tapering off weed smoking was, okay, now I'm working all the time and I'm not gonna be high while I'm working. So I basically just don't have the time to be high anymore. I never really had many problems with smoking weed and my weight loss until I had basically lost most of the weight already. That's also around the time when I started to develop a binge eating disorder. If you're not familiar with binge eating disorder, basically it's where you feel completely out of control and you gorge on food and I will, when I'm in a binge, I will eat so much food that I know, like I'm telling myself consciously, why are you eating? Stop eating, you don't need food. But something is almost like instinctually telling me to eat food like so much food that I feel sick and I can see it pushing out my abdomen. So I just kind of wanted to clarify the difference between when I would get the munchies and overeat and when I have the urge to binge. To me, they are completely different and completely separate. Just gotta get a little sip of my a carbonated cancer water. So now, if you do struggle with binge eating, smoking weed might not be the best thing for you. I don't know, it could be different person to person, but I know for me personally, smoking weed or getting high is basically signing my name on a dotted line that I'm gonna fucking binge. I can't control my binge urges when I smoke. And it's not the same as when I used to get the munchies. It is completely different, but smoking weed is a huge, huge, huge binge trigger for me. 
it also really affects my motivation now. You know, before when I was smoking every day, all day, I think you kind of get used to the way you feel. So it's almost like you're operating under your new normal when you are high. But then once you aren't high anymore and you're basically sober for the most part, you kind of lose that functionality that you had when you were smoking every single day. Like now, if I smoke, I can't function. If I smoke early in my evening, it's basically guaranteeing that I am not going to do anything for the rest of the day and just eat way too much food. So in the beginning of my weight loss journey, it really didn't affect my weight loss negatively at all. As time went on, it started to kind of change for me. And so now that's why I, I'm not against smoking weed, but I know for me at least that it doesn't really align with my goals. So that's what you're gonna kinda have to do, is kinda sit down and have a conversation with yourself and be honest with yourself about, is this hindering me from getting closer to my goals? Am I using this kind of as a crutch or a coping mechanism for something else in my life? Because for me, that was the case. And once I kinda had that heart to heart with myself and realized, okay, yeah, this is a problem now, that's when I decided that it was probably better if I didn't smoke weed on a regular basis. Now don't get me wrong, I will still smoke weed from time to time with my friends if we're having fun, if I'm going out. It's, it's not like I am anti-weed whatsoever. I just think that if weight loss is your main goal in life, smoking weed can definitely take you away from that. So yeah, just to kind of conclude this video, bring it full circle for everybody. I figure I'll answer some of the more common questions that I've gotten in regards to smoking weed and weight loss. The main question I get is, is it possible to lose weight and smoke weed regularly at the same time? I say yes, if you are the type of person that can control your eating habits still while you smoke weed, then yeah, you can lose weight and smoke weed very, very easily. I did it personally. I lost 200 pounds smoking weed every single day. So it is definitely possible. Number two, how do you resist the urge from overeating or basically just getting the munchies? I'm going to say with this one, again, you either can or you can't. You know, before I could resist the urge very easily, after I developed a binge eating disorder, I could no longer resist that urge at all. Like I said, you gotta be honest with yourself. If when you smoke, you eat uncontrollably, you're probably not the person that can resist those urges and smoking weed probably isn't gonna fit within your new lifestyle. And number three is, do I have any tips for somebody who smokes weed for medical reasons so they can't really just stop smoking? like I can. For those people, I would suggest, depending on what your ailments are, you know, if you're mainly just using marijuana to sleep, just wait till the very last minute at night, get high, and then go to bed. You don't actually have to go to sleep, but just go to bed. Because if you're up and you're awake and you start to get a little hungry, it's a lot harder to resist those urges while you're high than it is otherwise. Well, that's that. I hope this video helped answer some of your questions. If it didn't, throw them down in the comments. I'm always scrolling through and replying to comments, answering questions, saying what up. And come on people, you guys already know what to do. Like the video if it helped you. Comment down below. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content about fitness, weight loss, nutrition, whatever. Aside from all that, I will see you guys later.